Hi and welcome to another session of the Ladies Hub. This session is dedicated to Ms. Yihaz and everything it entails. Joining me today on the Ladies Hub are four beautiful ladies in the person of Ms. Apreku, Ms. Ms. Odro, Ms. Freku, and Ms. Avo. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. So, starting off with you, Ms. Avo, can you tell us about Ms. Yihaz? If I'm interested and I want to pick a form, when and how do I get the forms? Hello. So, I'm um, Gloria Apene Avo, the Federal SRC Women's Commissioner for UHAS SRC. Okay. So, um, Miss UHAS is a beauty pageant, as we all know. And then, just like other beauty pageants, uh, it's also a platform giving our ladies exposure that they need. And also, one thing that is, I think, peculiar about this beauty pageant is that it actually focuses on um, grooming our ladies to use their crowns and um, to influence the health sector in Ghana because actually UHAS is a health institution. Okay, so we've been thinking about bringing up Miss UHAS 2021 for some time now, but yesterday after or during the parliamentary sitting, yes, this issue was brought up for discussion and then parliament, the UHAS SRC parliament has approved that we go ahead with this Miss UHAS 2020. So today we are just here to do a press Lunch of uh, Miss Yuha's program. Yes, so um, this year's program I think is taking a little bit of uh, different, a different turn actually. Yes, we are actually trying to move things up a little bit. We are trying to challenge ourselves. Yes, uh -huh. so let's talk about some of the um, packages that we have for this year's program. Okay, so this year we are hoping that our first, our winner, sorry, our winner gets home um, about 10,000 Ghana cities package. That's from 10,000 Ghana cities package. And breaking this package down, we have a full school fees. Full, full, full school fees ranging from 3,000 to 4,000 cities and then also a full hostel fees for one academic year actually and then we also have other souvenirs from sponsors and also the SRC as well and then the second the first and second runner up also um, have this hostel accommodation fees being taken care of that we are looking at um, 2,700 for each of them and then also other souvenirs from sponsors yes so this is going to be the main uh, prize or packages for our winners okay and then talking about the forms yes um this time round we want to give opportunity to all ladies and you has uh, to pick up forms we don't want a situation whereby somebody will complain about uh, financial constraints and all that so we actually bring the price down to 30 ghana cities so a form costs just 30 ghana cities yes um so the mode of payment and everything will be made available and then this forms will be filled via uh, i think a google form will be made available to all who need it they will fill it out and then also those who want to fill it um maybe using the hard copy will also make those available in our offices and everywhere so if you need it the flyers will be out there you just can you, you can just contact any of our coordinators and then they will just see you through yes yeah, so basically this is what uh, miss you has 2020 is 2021, sorry, is going to be about, yes, please. And then also the criteria for selection. Um, yes, let me just say criteria for selection. Anybody can apply, um, just that you have to be within the ages of 18 and 25. 18 and then 25. And a student of you has, because it's you has, Miss You Has Beauty Pageant. So I think those are just the two main things we are looking at this time around you can be slim you can be fat or, or so ever we don't care you can be fair dark we don't care the father you are between the ages of 18 and 25 and you are you have students you are qualified to uh, pick a form for this beauty pageant yes please thank you so to miss april how is it feeling like that day on stage what was going through your mind 
Hello once again. I'm Vivian Alfred with the Reigning Queen. Miss you last 2020. I'm happy to see you and I'm happy to be with all of you here. Actually, I was not hoping or winning. I was just doing mine. So, so there were other competent girls. I mean, good looking, intelligent, confident and all that. But I was not seeing myself to be part. So, but in all, I give God the glory for coming out successful. What do you think made you stand out? Mm. What made me stand out? My confidence, my eloquence, my fluency, and above all, my beauty and my body figure. Figure, sorry. How does it feel like after the project? Have you had collaborations with other people? And personally, as the winner for Miss you has twenty twenty, have you had any projects so far? I've had a lot of projects done and besides I've met a lot of people that I wasn't expecting and it has really really favored me currently. So I had the opportunity to work with the Mental Health and Wellbeing Foundation Australia of which we were able to provide a 10 seater toilet capacity to the Cured Leopard village here in Hull and then I was able to make a do donation to the Cured Leopard village the whole prisons and then the children's home here in Hope. And being Miss Johans and being able to work with the Mental Health and Wellbeing Foundation, I'm glad to announce to you that I'm the current Mental Health and Wellbeing Foundation U.S. President. Mm -hmm. And we are looking forward to working more okay. and then participating in more bigger patterns and more bigger platforms. So expect me in this world. Nice. <laughs> We we'll all be looking for it to that. Yeah. And you all and you have a support to you as well. Yeah. Now to Gracia. I know you partook in a little pageant that is different from Miss He has and that is Miss Health Ghana. Yeah. So could you please take us through the auditions and everything? Okay, once again I'm Gracia Hillary Freku, Miss Health Ghana 2020 second runner up. So we had exams in September and then a friend saw a flyer and sent it to me I was like, oh, you're fluent, you're confident, get into a beauty pageant. So I wasn't really like, excited or enthused, but I was like, let me give it a try. Then I sent my audition video and I forgot about it because I was like, oh, I don't think I'll make it. But it took a lot of videos. and. Out of a hundred and hundred and over videos they took, they got about twenty six girls, and I was part. After the first set of audition, I was part of the top twenty, and it was hectic because I met very intelligent girls, very very intelligent, beautiful, eloquent. So I didn't really see myself going that far. But here I am. I made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. You are the first runner up from the High 2017. And I know during your time, the way things were done differently, and also you're about to have the High 2021. So, what are, are your expectations? Hello, um, thank you. And I'm very happy to be here today. Um, 2017 was like when we came to level 100. And a first year contesting, it was a whole lot. But I, at a point, I believed in myself. One, that's like one thing you should do. You should believe in yourself that whatever you set your mind on, you can achieve it. And then you don't need your friends to like talk to, talk to you, talk you out. Sorry, about um, going or contesting for Miss Year 2021. Um, but I. Basically or virtually, we, they have improved. I'm um, looking at the prizes packages, I will come sent and I like them that much. I wish I can contest again, <laughs> but unfortunately I can't. Yeah. Um, I can't. Um, I, I'm expecting this year to be better than last year. Last year was like mind blowing. blowing. I actually like whatever happened last year. And I, I'm sure our able welcomes and our coordinators are improving this year soon. So I want to encourage everyone out there, every lady in the house, to 
try and contest for Miss Year's 2021. I wasn't, I wasn't um, someone who come out to talk. That's like one, one big thing about pageantry. They groom you to be able to talk in public and it, um, it makes you overcome your fears. So we're expecting a lot of people aboard this, uh, this year's edition because the prizes are mind-blowing and I bet you I wish I could <laughs> contest this year. Thank you. You're welcome. Now to our book on. Why, what, why you took us through the packages? You made mention of accommodation and some other things. Why was maybe a car or something? Why did you choose, I mean, those particular packages? Okay, so, um, see, over the years, I know there were so many packages as my sister's here was attested of it. And then, um, I think, were there cash prizes? The way and then some souvenirs as well, yeah. But I think this is the first time we are bringing something like accommodation and then school fees. Okay? So you see, we are all in the tertiary and the university, and you know, school fees and accommodations are very big problems to students. So, looking at things, we wanted to bring something that wouldn't be just a, a prize or a souvenir, but something that could help, <laughs> could help. Something that could help whoever wins this count. So when you're in school and then um, somebody pays for your fees and the person takes care of your accommodation thing. The person has really done you good and has taken a lot of your head. You could just sit down and relax and then study. I think that is the best thing that could happen to anybody. Yes, so this year we are expecting our ladies to come on board and then have this happiness for themselves. I think you, you, you just need something little to get something much. So they should come in and get something much from the like this. Yeah. Thank you, President. I think um, there are some students on campus that really struggle to get their fees paid or even get money to pay for their accommodation. So it comes up to uh, who come for bringing that package on board. Now to my ladies, Taking into consideration your experiences and the what you've achieved as an individual, what do you have to tell our ladies out there who also want to partake in this pageant? Um, my final words uh, I want to urge all girls out there, all you have girls, let me put it that way. That's. <laughs> I want to urge all young ladies out there, all queens, let me put it that way, because every lady is a queen, that um, we should challenge ourselves. That is like one thing that we need to like do. There, are, Of course, there are, there are going to be a lot of um, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And then if you consider a academic calendar, you might not want to do it. But then this should be a challenge to all of us. Let us come on board. Let us make Miss Year's 2021 a success. Let it be beautiful. It's just 30 cities. Let us all hurry up and grab our forms and let us come and ma have fun. I, I remember my groomer was like, we should, pageantry is about having fun. We, should, we shouldn't be just be stiff about oh. winning them. Just have fun with your uh, other ladies or other queens. And then trust me, you are going to like enjoy yourself. Just come with a free mind and come with you coming to connect that is basically it. just come and connect be free and have fun please we are all waiting for you to come and make you miss your 2021 resources well my final words are i would like each and every lady out there you as lady out there to grab this opportunity it's a lifetime opportunity you shouldn't miss it like <laughs> I really wish I could contest again, but <laughs> so, so come, your, your packages are enticing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I really wish I could contest again, but I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, just grab it. Like, grab it. Now or never. Yeah, I can't wait to give you this prestigious crown. So come for it. So. Coming from a different pageant, not Miss Youhouse, but Miss Hill, I'll say one thing. 
if you are determined and you believe in yourself, you can do it. When every lady is sitting, you should stand. When every lady is standing, she stand out. And when every lady is standing out, you should be the outstanding. Be that queen. Grab a copy now. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for your submission. We take our final words from Abuko. Thank you very much. I think before I give my final words, I would like to clarify some things about our packages. Okay, we made mention of um, accommodation and then school fees. So somebody might ask, um, what about those in final year? Yes, if they should win, how are they going to get these packages? Okay, so. Um, our final years or anybody who will not be able to get into our hostels or not be in the school again or for whatsoever reasons will be given cash prizes. Yes, um, yes, cash prizes. So um, your fees and everything will be converted to cash for you and then you just take it away. Okay. And then let me stress on this too, the requirement for um, participating. Okay. We wouldn't be given any restrictions aside, um, let me say the age range that we gave, okay, the age range from 18 to 25. Um, whether you are slim, you are big, whatsoever, you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are a Buddhist, whatsoever, you can just pick a phone and then let's all do this, okay. So I'm encouraging everybody out there, if I had the opportunity, I think I'll be joining as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, you see, I'm the main organizer for this show, so I don't have that opportunity to join. I think the packages are in Paris. So yeah. Yes, I could, I could join. So all you guys will make time. No, we are not going to allow that. Okay. okay, so I'll encourage every lady in you has to try. Yes, it's a challenge you are putting out there. We all know the academic calendar is very packed and stressful, but if we all want to consider that, I don't think we'll be able to achieve anything in this institution. So just put some things aside and then adjust something little. You need to make some efforts. You need to even give up on certain things to be able to achieve something greater. Yes. As um, I think Miss you has to mention, mentioned, she has uh, had the opportunity to meet so many people and stuff like that. If not because of the crown, I'm not sure she would have this opportunity. So you should also try something. Challenge yourselves. Okay. Thank you very much. I think the ladies have said it all. If you want a life changing opportunity, this is the time. Just grab a form at the 230 cities. This has been the ladies' hub. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Oh, no, so we are outside taking the king. Thank you, ladies, for your time. And my ladies have said it all. If you want a life-changing opportunity, then this is the opportunity you have. Don't miss out. Grab a form at a cool 30 cities. This has been the ladies have. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos as well. I've been your host, Ms. Bukune. Bye. Bye.